My name is Melissa Velez. I'm from Albuquerque. I was born in Littlefield, Texas. I have a big family, two brothers and two sisters and two sons, Victor and Michael. What the gospel means to me is that God gave us his only son, Jesus. Jesus died on the cross for my sins and I need God in my life for my salvation. My name is Eric Lewin. I work with industrial water engineering here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I have a wife, Sharon, and a two-year-old son, Parker. The gospel is the good news that Jesus died for the sins of the world and that through grace and faith, we have been saved. My name is Amber McBride. I was born and raised in Northeast Kansas, Kansas City. I am a researcher and scientist at the University of New Mexico, and I've been married uh, 10 years to my spouse, Ben. The gospel is this amazing love that God died for us, an awful death for our sins, and we don't deserve it. And it's through Him and by Him and to Him that we are forgiven. Hi, my name is Campbell Beck, and I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I go to Cottonwood Classical Preparatory School, and I play soccer. I have one sister named McKenna, and a brother named Brooke, and my mom is named Brandy, and my dad is named Steve. God sent his son, Jesus, to earth, who led a perfect life and died on the cross, a perfect sacrifice, and took our punishment, death, and he rose again on the third day and defeated and conquered death and so that we could be with God. My name is Emma Beauchamp. I'm 15 years old. I have an older brother and a younger brother. My whole family has been going to Desert Springs Church since I was born. The Gospel is the story of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection and its significance of salvation and forgiveness of sin for the world. Before I heard the Gospel, um, my life was very inward focused. I looked to uh, earthly things for contentment, for joy. Uh, and I realized that that was not a sustainable foundation to build my life upon. Before I was saved, I was searching a lot, looking for truth, um, really self-centered, you know, myself. Uh, how, how can I do this? That, you know, those sorts of things. So, you know, I, this is something I need to figure out was kind of kind of where it was at. My life pretty much revolved around me and had very little to do with Jesus. Before God saved me, um, my life was always centered around me. I was my main focus and I lied a lot. I focused on my relationships and it was just my relationships. I put everything into that and because of that, they always failed. And I know now that I should have been focusing on God. I should have been giving God all my love and not my relationships. The first time I heard the gospel or how it was shared with me, I mean, as a kid, my grandma would talk to us about it, but up until about seven months ago, um, a friend of mine invited me to church. And um, I don't remember exactly what the scripture they were saying. I just knew that I needed to have God in my life and I could not stop crying. Like I just cried and cried and I just knew right then and there that I needed to have God in my life. My parents have had the greatest spiritual influence on my life. They have guided me and I've heard the gospel from them. My mom introduced me to the gospel and she was the one who led me to God and I've just been going to church my whole life it's really always just been a growing process for me. I was born and raised in a Christian home, went to a Christian high school. I always had a lot of doubts and trying to, to figure everything out on my own. And it wasn't until I was in college and I was really doing some, some hard searching that all of a sudden everything just, just clicked and I, just, I didn't worry about doubts anymore. I grew up uh, with friends and family uh, sharing the gospel with me. But it wasn't until early college I took a Western Civ class and we were required to read the epistles. And when I started reading those epistles, um, God really moved my heart in ways that I didn't even know he was working. My life now is, is a lot less complicated. I don't 
I feel like I have to be searching for the truth. I, I know what the truth is and it, it feels really good. I'm no longer scared. I used to be scared all the time. My life is far from perfect. I still sin every day, but unlike many people, I have a hope. I know that no matter how many sins that I have, they have all been forgiven by God. I feel peace and I feel strength in Him, and I know that if I struggle or if I sin, that He'll always forgive me because of what He did on the cross. So now that I, I know Jesus, I have this peace, or God's given me this peace in my heart that I never knew before. And this peace was strengthened this past spring. Um, God, God gave me this amazing opportunity to do research in Munich, Germany for three months. And this was an amazing experience, but also extremely difficult. Um, and it was through this trial uh, that a sweetness and renewal of my faith uh, was, was given.